Welcome, Mike Hamilton for Trade Easy Way, and I'm going to start with the Nikkei on the daily. You can see we've got a wobble here. We've got this uh, uh, line, trend line coming down here now, formed from the highs over the last couple of days. Coming into this moving average here, this is a sell signal with a new high and a close below next day. Uh, but you've got all this support underneath it, so let's just see what happens. Uh, but in the meantime, yeah, this is not good. This is a major pivot level from the lows of September last year. Uh, a time of the year when you would expect to see some profit taking and selling anyway. Fed day tomorrow, that's going to have a big impact on the market. So we'll go ahead and look at what the Dow's doing. We're still three hours away from the Dow close. Let's take a look anyway. And you can see on this daily Dow, with three hours to go, that we've got the high at 675 and we are just under the the 600 mark so all to play for here ordinarily I would expect the Dow to to drop into Fed and then if it is if the market does like what the Fed has got to say it is just minutes after all it's not a not a major decision so we're not expecting anything new just the market would just be listening out for any comment on potential rate rise into the autumn. So if we can come down here and pick up this trend line around about the 500 mark, bearing in mind we've got options expiring on Friday as well, um, we could see this up for another leg to higher levels, but beginning to see this on this MACD setting here, beginning to see this sort of tail off underneath the midline uh, so I think at the very least we need a, a pullback and it's a question of just whether that pullback gets bought or not and that pullback is like I said somewhere around about the 450 500 mark so moving on to Forex so the pound yen is something I'm very interested at this stage you can see we've come off for this um, Post Brexit low 129 actually bounced off 129.15, so just slightly narrowly above that, and had a good day, had a good 150 plus points off of that. So we've got UK jobs tomorrow, so this is going to be crucial. What I would like to see is a pullback into the 130 area, see if it holds, and then see if we can break this high. And go and start at least go and test this 133. If we can start to do that, we may see some kind of recovery. Otherwise, uh, if the market doesn't like the UK job situation, then we could break that low, break the 129, and who knows, potentially come and find the 120. But that is a hammerlite bar. We've had a couple of other hammerlite bars recently, anyway. I'll just point them out if I can just grab my pen. Um, we had a hammerlite bar here. We had, let me think, a hammerlite bar in this range uh, which generated a, a good day the next day and then continuation of the selling. So this is this is not a confirmed reversal at this stage. Um, for me, well, th there's the trend line coming down. You can see this. I've got the this channel coming down. The first hope of a reversal would be this um, 20 EMA down here at one at 380. Uh, and at some stage, we need to come and retest this 50 EMA up here at 138. So encouraging for any bullish pound pulls out there but not convincing so I'm not loading the boat I have been taking dips on this one expecting some kind of reversal so I will do that after the data is out tomorrow Euro daily uh, we are clearly holding up in through this trend line so that pullback would be one one two or 220. It's Fed Day tomorrow, so I would just take a look at this in the Euro session. Otherwise, I'll steer clear 
and then wait till we get the Fed day out of the way. But uh, if you are going to trade that, just look to see if 112 can hold, and if that's going to work. Let's just look at a couple of other dollar pairs. US dollar yen got a bounce, but uh, we are pretty feeble down here. The downtrend is still well and truly intact. And the Brexit low has not yet been tested. So all to play for. This is still in the downtrend. Obviously we've got some time for the US market to pick this up, but uh, at the moment this is not looking good. Um, that's all I've got to say to it. Say to it. I'm just concentrating looking at the pound pairs tomorrow for, for UK jobs and then watching the dollar once we get the Fed out of the way. Okay, that's all I've got for you at the moment. I uh, hope that helps. I will be in the room tomorrow. And uh, look forward to seeing you then.